So things get left behind by customers. You know, we try to make sure they take their stuff, but you know, people leave stuff. We always try to keep it safe for them. Uh, one night I was cleaning the bathrooms out and had my gloves on and a mop and everything. And I walk into the men's room and there's this little book, a little old brown book sitting on the toilet paper dispenser. Sexual deviations in the female. This is the weirdest thing. Like, it's it's a book, it's an educational type thing. I'm sure it's probably debunked by this point. It's probably from the 1800s, but... God. The things people leave behind. We actually had that one uh, in the office for about six months. Nobody ever came to get it. And actually, a customer bought it from us, I think, for like $15. So we just wanted to get rid of it. Life is crazy. I've talked about Nancy before. You know, women don't like when you talk about their age, so I'll just give you the estimate. She was somewhere between 50 years old and 150 years old. Um, worked with her one morning, 6 a.m. We had a customer come in. Four pack of five-hour energy, two packs of cigarettes, and two monsters. She rang him up, charged his card, said, have a nice day. He turned back to her and said, I'll have whatever kind of fucking day I want. Walked out the door. It's, you know, just, just the, like the most basic level of, you know, respect for each other. We try to help. You know, we don't try to be rude to customers. Just a little bit. For a brief period of time, we had a company come in and sell us magazines. Uh, they set up a rack in our store between the men's and women's room and just had a variety. Yes, typical stuff you'd find at a gas station, hunting stuff, uh, various, you know, car magazines, stuff like that. The problem was no one ever bought any, but they definitely took them into the restrooms to read them while they were, you know, doing their business. Kind of creepy. Uh, the last straw for us was when somebody actually picked up one of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Editions. And the pages were stuck together. Yeah, we we uh, put a stop to selling magazines after that. Nobody really wants to get into that situation. When I was still managing a gas station, our district manager told me one day, I need to hire more women because they are easier to control in the workplace. Uh, we had 13 station stores, and I was the only male manager. I guess I can't be surprised I got fired within a year of that. One of the employees we had uh, was an older lady, been with the company over 40 years. And I mean, I had customers that would come in that would tell me, as grown adults, that they came in with their dad when they were a kid, and she would give them candy. We had kids... 17, 18 years old that called her grandma because their whole little lives she had been at this gas station. I've seen this lady turn off the gas on a guy that was smoking a cigarette and when he yelled at her, she went outside and sprayed him with a fire extinguisher. She told me about working with the previous manager and how he had heart attack twice and she had to give him CPR twice. And I asked her, how'd that go? And she said, I shouldn't have resuscitated him. What a dick. One of the nights before we were closing, we had a trucker come in to use the men's room. Uh, he left and we were locking up and mopping the floors and such. I uh, went into the men's room and found a red pair of women's Victoria's Secret panties neatly folded on top of the paper towel dispenser. Don't know what the hell was going on there. Uh, I had to text my other co-worker when I was writing this down, and she reminded me they were red women's Victoria's Secret lace Brazilian-style panties. That was one of the creepier things. Um, I remember putting gloves on just to deal with them. People are weird. One of the more interesting things we had to do running a gas station was interview potential employees. We had uh, paper applications at that time, and we actually had somebody turn one in written in orange crayon. Uh, for the sit-down interviews, I had been given a packet of sample questions. You know, the standard, have you worked at a job before? 
you know, blah, 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 stuff like that. Uh, our district manager also told us that we were required to make up our own questions based on our individual stores, which led to sit down interviews with questions like, have you ever stabbed a coworker? And if you stab a coworker and I ask you to apologize to that coworker, will you apologize? Yeah. Uh, it was a fun time. Uh, you know, you learn some things, you see some crazy stuff. I don't miss it, but I do miss some of the fun customers. Uh, I miss some of the employees too. Uh, I don't miss being called a Nazi. It was a Saturday night after Halloween one year. A uh, lady came in, full stripper cop outfit, heels, you know, fishnets, booty shorts. Got the tactical police belt with four different pairs of handcuffs, and instead of a baton, it's a black dildo. Uh, she's got, you know, that crop shirt with cleavage out till next Tuesday. Big dangly earrings and everything. She's giggling, and she goes, my boyfriend won't get out of the car. He's too afraid. You have to come see his costume, and we're going, uh, attractive woman trying to lure us outside. Concerning, but we'll take a shot. Go out to the, her SUV, and I saw the largest African-American dude I've ever met in my whole life. Nice guy. Looked like a bodybuilder, wearing an orange jumpsuit that says Dakota County on it. Hell no, I'm not getting out of that car either. That's how you get shot. I don't blame that dude. Good luck. <laughs>